a man removing bricks from the exterior of a house discovers a huge surprise hidden behind them. Nearly every home has at least one small quirk, a little something for the homeowner to complain about. Maybe the bedrooms are too small, or the windows squeak when you open them, or maybe the living room floor is slightly tilted. Over time, these quirks become so familiar that home wouldn't seem the same without them. That's not quite the case if your quirky characteristic happens to be something alive. When a Tennessee pest control specialist received a call about a strange noise coming from a kitchen wall, he assumed that it would be just another average workday. No sooner had he removed the first brick, he made the most startling discovery of his career. In September, a family had been startled to hear strange noises coming from within their walls. They assumed at first that some animal had escaped the coming winter and was nesting in the wall to stay warm. But as the seasons changed and spring came again, the noises never went away. In fact, they got louder and more intense. The family decided that this must be some sort of insect, so they bought a bug bomb and fumigated the kitchen. When the pesticide failed to banish the bugs, the family called a professional exterminator. Pest expert David Glover. David had years of experience and was confident that he could handle whatever was humming away inside of the wall, but nothing could have prepared him for what he was about to find. Arriving at the home, David made a quick examination of the exterior wall and discovered a small gap between the kitchen window and the brick as well as a weep hole, a space between the bricks and the wall. He assumed that these small openings had allowed pests, whatever they were, to enter the home. David then used an infrared camera to search for the heat signatures of the creatures, trying to estimate the size of whatever was inside the wall. He was stunned at the result. Whatever had lodged within the house was huge. As a precaution, David decided to spray a natural insect repellent through the rest of the area to keep the insects confined in the kitchen wall, and in case he might be dealing with dangerous stinging insects, he used smoke to sedate them as well. Then he began widening the weep hole so that he could see what was inside. As soon as David pulled the first brick off the wall, he was able to confirm that the pesky home invaders were, in fact, a hive of busy honeybees. And judging by the size of the comb that was now visible through the brick, this was likely going to be the largest, possibly the toughest pest removal job of David's life. He removed layer after layer of brick, knocking out two whole rows in just a few minutes. But the more brick he removed, the larger the hive seemed to be. And by the time David had removed five rows of bricks, he realized just how big it really was. When the entire hive was finally revealed, David couldn't believe his eyes. It was absolutely massive, dwarfing the kitchen window above it. According to David, it was the single largest honeycomb he had ever seen. Inspecting the buzzing hive more closely, David noticed that it contained 13 capped queen cells, each containing a future queen bee. It was clear to David that this hive wasn't just incredibly active, it was thriving. To the left, there were a few clusters of dead bees, and David presumed this was the result of the pesticides he and the family had used, but those chemicals had no chance of killing off such a large colony. Though the bees were surely a nuisance, David knew that it would be wrong to exterminate them, as it would only add to the staggering amount of bee deaths occurring across the globe. So David decided to remove the hive piece by piece and to relocate the bees to a more suitable home. After he had removed several chunks of honeycomb, David noticed that a large section was just a convoluted mess of curves and tunnels. He jokingly said that it seemed as though the bees responsible for building the comb in that section of the hive had been under the influence of LSD at the time. And despite the fact that David was destroying their home, the honeybees were oddly cooperative. Even though he was taking away their queens, some of the bees even clustered on David's shoulder as he worked. Once the combs were all removed, David cleaned up the area. Not Surprisingly, ripping open a brick wall and removing a hive with thousands of bees can be pretty messy. David was also surprised at the imprint left behind by the thousands of dirty little bee feet. Kind of cool when you think about all the times your mom told you to wipe your feet before coming into the house, he joked. Before sealing up the wall, David decided to place a box inside of the hole in case any of the worker bees might have been frightened off by the commotion and decided to return later when things quieted down. After all, no hive is complete without its workers. With the hive safely removed, David planned to deliver the bees to a number of honey farms in the area. 
he hopes to help local beekeepers who are currently dealing with colony losses. Because though bees may get a bad rap, they are an essential part of global agriculture. So before you go swatting at a bee that gets a little too close for comfort, just remember, bees are our friends. But really, what would you do if you found a hive that big in your wall?